Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we finna be having a little discussion on why white girls should not be wearing bonnets and weave. But first, y'all guess to know, I'm finna be smoking. Yeah, okay. I know where my water is, but it's out of fluid. So we got this, but okay, so me personally i just want to say first off that i don't care i really don't care this topic is just all over my TikTok, and i just want to clear some things up a lot of people say that white girls shouldn't be wearing braids wigs and bonnets why though why do y'all think that like i would understand if the hair didn't look good, but at the same time, are you doing it? Are you paying to get that hair did? If y'all care that much, do these white girls hair. Like, if it looks good, then power to you. But if it don't, you gonna be having black people looking stupid out here. That's, that's my thing about it. If you want to wear wigs, box braids, and bonnets, your shit has to look good. Like, shit has to look good. Because if it don't, it's just going to be an embarrassment to the black culture because we started this shit. Not saying that you can't wear it or you can't do this and that with your hair. It's just, don't be having us out here looking like we just put our hair up in some funky ass dry ass stale ass braids and go on about our day because that's not what we do if you're black you know you know that's what i say because in what really brought it up brought my attention to this was whenever the new movie the little mermaid came out with Halle Berry in it, and they had her with these stale ass dry ass locks in her head and i know a lot of white folks don't allow their children or want their kids having dreadlocks because they're so-called dirty. You feel me? So, and when I seen that, I was just like, um, so why was her hair like that? Is it supposed to be like that? Because to me, that was an embarrassment to the black culture. Cause why is her hair like that? She's a black woman. There's no way whoever did her hair did it that way. And for her to have it like that on scene, it was just an embarrassment and I felt some type of way because why do y'all have her on there looking like it? Like, and then this topic actually came up cause I had talked about it at work and this girl, she asked me, she was like, how do I feel about white women wearing dreadlocks, box braids, weaves, bonnets, all that little shit. And I told her like, if it looks good, then it looks good. I'm not no hater. Like if your hair looks good, then it just looks good who did it can they do mine you know you feel me so like i'm never gonna knock somebody for getting box braids like it's not just for black people it's just the way that you do it and how it looks at the end because baby don't be out here embarrassing us black folks that's all i'm saying that's all i'm saying like it's honestly ignorant as fuck i don't think that's never gonna go away like especially nowadays like wigs and shit did it used to be a thing until a couple years ago because i remember in high school whenever i was wearing them wigs maybe i got talked about talked about like now white girls is wearing wigs and to me i really don't understand because y'all got long hair already y'all can just dye y'all's hair even if y'all don't want it permanently or to damage it there's shit for that <laughs> but I can't hold nobody because getting wigs is not just for black folks. Now, somebody told me that they thought it was only for the cancer patients, which I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna say nothing, but no. Wigs is for any and everybody who wants to put them motherfuckers on their head. <laughs> One thing I do hate is though, whenever white girls want to put box braids in their head and it not be like, it don't be giving scalp. Like it wasn't, Twisted up, pulled up by that root. 
it's just on there and it's like hanging that's no no don't do that don't do that the bonnet thing the bonnet thing is so universal that it really makes black people look stupid for saying that shit like white people ain't gotta protect their hair just as much as black people not as much but just as much <laughs> so if you see a white person with a bonnet on their head satin purple whatever on their head at night don't be telling folks to take their shit off their head motherfuckers don't always gotta i don't know what are they supposed to put on their head if it was me i used to wear scarves like bandanas if i didn't have a bonnet before bonnets even really became like popular because before then baby white people already stole the bandana thing white people came i feel like bandanas are a white people thing to begin with to me honestly if it ain't nothing to do with no gangs white people got it but i know me i'm gonna throw on a bandana faithfully not give no fucks you hear me yeah but that's just me that's just me um this video really ain't finna be long because I just wanna get on here and clear some things up since this is what the media is talking about now. Yes, white girls can wear wigs, they can wear box sprays, they can wear bonnets, cause who's gonna beat them up about it? Who? Nobody is. So y'all tend to y'all's hair. They mainly, it be the bitches that don't even be getting their hair done that talk shit. Like if you don't even get your hair done, bitch, shut the fuck up and let them get their hair did. Maybe you should go get your hair done by a hairstylist. Yeah, think about that. But anyways, thank y'all for watching this video because y'all know I'm going to get on here and talk my shit. So, yeah, anyways, everybody have a blessed day. Tune in to my channel. Like, subscribe, comment. Bye, y'all.